You may recall a few months back, although who can really keep track of time these days, I did a video about the Texas Instruments TI-99-4A home computer. This was Texas Instruments' first home computer, and I think their only home computer, before they um, cornered the market with their calculator monopoly. Anyway, not a very successful computer, although it does have its share of fans. Anyway, I didn't have any cartridges when I tried this the first time, but um, now I do. A viewer sent in this box of games to try. Ben, included in this fine selection of games are some real arcade classics, such as Basic, Early Learning Fun, and Household Budget Management. Wow, that's going to suck all the quarters. Have fun with them. Take them apart. Whatever is clever. I just like them back usable. I'll find a TI-99 sometime. He doesn't have a computer? Maybe he'd like this one. I didn't pay anything for it. What do I care? All right, let's take a look. I can't wait to manage my household budget. Maybe the household budget numbers will be stuck back at like $1981. So it's like, your mortgage is $300. Your health insurance copay at your job is $2. <laughs> it's always morning in America. All right, TI Invaders. I wired an adapter to make Atari joysticks work. Found these schematics online, pretty simple. This thing only has one joystick port on it, so originally it would multiplex the two joysticks. Wow, this is downright nasty. It looks like the inv oh, they wait for me to shoot. So it's like the Old West. I'm your huckleberry. This is hard. How do I, how do I go back to the menu? This thing really needs like, you know, like some a start button or something or a function button. Other than that, it's not too bad. Uh, this is a, a TMS 99, what is that? TMS99218 video chip, same as the ColecoVision. So I noticed um, they're not doing fine scrolling, but they're also not doing eight pixel coarse scrolling. So they must be doing some sort of like bitwise operation to make the invaders move. So, you know, not the worst effort. What's with this big landing pad for the cartridge? The cartridge isn't that big. Were they gonna have like really big cartridges? Who knows? Ooh, Alpiner. Sounds Guessing it's gonna be like a skiing game. It's <laughs> Dan Darsh. Um, English. And it is. was decadent. Press any key to go on. No, I don't want to go on. Oh, this is interesting. So what am I, what am I grabbing onto? <sighs> this isn't programmed very well because you can tell they're they're redrawing the entire character ram and then drawing the guy back on top of it. That's why he's flickering. Oh no, I got hit by rocks. Help me, Spock. Oh no, it's a static mountain lion. That's it? I'm a hero! I've actually got a whole bin of these. Oh, I got the number wrong. It's the TMS9928. I believe most of these are the um, composite out versions. So this chip was the video chip designed by Texas Instruments. It was used in this computer. ColecoVision and the MSX, also the Sega SG-1000. Um, it's not too bad, although um, some one of its main limitations is that it does not have fine scrolling support. Moon mine. That's probably the real purpose of Space Force. I tried watching the first episode of Space Force. I couldn't get into it. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So am I inside the mine? Or? Oh, I see. I've got these up-down cursors, so it's kind of like Robocop. 
my targeting system is a little messed up. Oh no, my ship is damaged. So this thing had, let's see, what were the sprites? This thing had uh, four sprites per scan line. Like you see that guy there. And the sprites were, uh, I want to say they're 16 by 16. So they're a little larger than normal sprites. Of course, they were only one color. Come on. This game isn't very much fun. I mean, if you want to see some really impressive stuff done with this same chip, uh, MSX, the MSX-1 had some pretty cool games done with it. Like, there's a guy who made a, um, a cartridge for this system that actually runs Dragon's Lair. It's pretty neat. And I'm assuming this thing has the 16K video RAM. Like, one of the graphics modes on this, um, what is it? Each character, you can have two colors per line of the character or row. I think there's only 16 colors total in the system and you can't change them. Yeah, but you, that, I mean, that, mean could, that could mean you could get up to 16 colors in one 8 pixel by 8 pixel space. Yeah, because yeah, it could be 8 times 2. So yeah, I mean, you can actually get some decent graphics out of this. Um, if you're interested, maybe like Google uh, like MSX uh, Gradius, or of course it'd be called Nemesis over there. Blasto, this is going to be great. Sluggish game? Tank. Okay. Oh, it's like Minesweeper. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. What is my goal in life? To crush my enemies and hear the lamentations of the women. So am I just, I just had to blow up all the mines? Oh, I guess I became a victim of my own hubris. Oh, I see the explosions cascade. It's combat meets Minesweeper. That's what you'd call this if you're pitching it as a movie. There's some nice music. I don't know what the uh, audio chip was in this thing. It's probably one of those old Yamaha chips or, or possibly general instruments. It's probably similar to the ColecoVision. I believe it has like three square wave voices. And Donkey Kong. Pretty good looking. Can I push the button? Uh, I can't press enter to start. I think you missed some notes there. Too many notes. Which one should I remove? Oh man, I think I need to grow a mullet and make some like mediocre hot sauce to play this game. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so I remember a few minutes ago when I was talking about having how it probably has the, you know, three square wave audio. This game's like, no, 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 we're only gonna play one sound effect at a time. Yay, I saved Daphne or Pauline or... Man, Mario Brothers, he has a lot of girlfriends. I have to admit, that part in Super Mario uh, Odyssey where Princess Daphne or whatever is singing that song and then Mario's like going through the city in two dimensions. That was pretty cool. Still gotta finish that game. Maybe I'll finish it when my niece comes to visit this summer. She wants to have like Bud Boot Camp. I think it's more like I'm like the most sane person in my yeah. I'm the most sane person in my family. Take that, take that for what you will. 
I'm the most calm person in my family. Probably a better way. Look at that! Look at that collision detection, or lack thereof. Oh, let's see if we can hit the sprite limit. Oh, let's go down here. So Mario's got multiple colors, so he's gonna be two sprites. Huh, I didn't hit the sprite limit yet. These are really poorly drawn flames. They're not even animated. Come on, sprite limit. Hit the sprite limit. Should be four sprites per scan line. Oh, this should do it. Come on, come on. Oh! Those things don't look like fireballs. They look like, like rutabagas with bad haircuts. There we go. Yay, I saved the girl, whoever she is. Princess Peach, Daisy. Oh, no, just the two levels. Is Donkey Kong even animated? No, he's, look, at he's just sitting there. Looks like he's holding a heart. It's like, uh, here's your Valentine. Now shut up and make me a sandwich. A game called Adventure. Oh, Scott Adams. Where is the database? Your mom. Hmm, looks like I can't play this without a disc, but I'm assuming it's a text adventure game. Oh, that's cool. Tombstone City. Guessing this is gonna be a Western or a pizza making simulator. I keep turning on the volume and it keeps going up. They keep pulling me back in. Press aid? AIDS! I pressed it. Do I do control aid? Shift aid? Look at that. Wait, I'm a space? It's a space? Space Western? What would that be? Cowboys? What was that? Cowboys versus aliens or something like that? Mm, there's some aliens trying to take our gold and cowboys. Blah, aliens. Yeah, Tunnels of Doom. This game sounds familiar. Let's see if it's what I think it is. Wow, look at those graphics. Ah, oh, shoot, I don't have... Oh, I bet it's kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons game, so it probably needs a lot of data, and I don't have any of those devices. Oh boy, you ready for it? Household budget management. Wow, this, this machine gets warm, by the way. Oh boy. Okay, set up, I'm gonna set up my house. This module, how does it store the data? I suppose it needs a disk. By storing your income and expense data, you can keep running records for each year. Normal use requires a cassette tape or other storage device. Oh, darn it. What is today's date? 4, 29, 21. Oh, look! It's, it's Y2K compliant! <laughs> nice! Okay, take home pay, starting in what month? Um, uh, January? Monthly amount, okay, so this would have been the 80, so let's go with like $1,500. Wait, this would have been 1979, so that was after the gold standard, during Carter, but before Reagan inflation. Yeah, I mean $18,000 a year, I'm rich. Monthly amount, what, interest? Oh, that's right, they actually had interest back then because the federal prime rate was above zero. Uh, I make mean $1 a month, which is about how much I make now. <laughs> it was pathetic from 2019 to 2020. All my cash reserves, the interest halved. It was pathetic. Also, this game isn't fun. Oh, here we go, Hangman. Oh, is that how you play Hangman? Hmm. Let's go with a regular game. Oh, let's go with nine. Okay, E. What? A. What is the word? Rhythm? 
uh, O. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. That's a pretty common letter. Hmm. Ply, pill? I'm thinking of P. Nope. Ah, uh, B. Uh, Bly. Hmm. Is there a timer? Let's see. Bly. Oh. Well, this can't be an E. It might be a D. Yep. Oh, blindfold. Kind of uh, coincidental considering you're being executed. Yeah, let's try one more. Oh, let's go for nine again. Take that, the 80s. Oh, I do the usual E. Okay, S, R. Butter in front of them. Butter beer? Butter. Abutment? Oh no, I'm running out of time! I'm gonna go with W. C. What the heck can it be? There's no other vowels. Butter. Oh my god, come on, Ben. And I think of butterfly. I was thinking of everything else but bugs. All in all, not a bad version of Hangman. Nice, big, easy to read letters. This one's called V Attack. I mean, I will say one thing like music and games back in 1980 would have been fairly unusual, so it was probably kind of a cool feature. It's like every game gets progressively louder. I guess the trigger isn't in any key. What am I doing? Oh, I thought those things were like pieces of grass. <laughs> Walt Whitman's leaves of grass. Oh, I don't understand this game. TLDR. Parsec! Yes. Insert arguments about that scene in Star Wars. See, if you're a Gen Xer, Star Wars is Star Wars and Nintendo is Nintendo. Okay, Parsec. Oh, they kind of have like some uh, fake scrolling going on there. That's kind of cool. Alien craft advancing. Oh. This is like the Bob Lazar simulator. Oh, that's a neat effect. Yeah, this kind of uh, fake scrolling would have been a little, little difficult because the this system has separate VRAM from the main RAM. And so they would have had to basically redefine the characters on the fly in the VRAM over a port. So. N not not on the Z80s memory, but on the VRAM memory, which is actually the same uh, kind of video memory that was used on a lot of machines. Oh gosh, like the Nintendo works that way. Actually, yeah, like unified memory wasn't even really that common until like 2005, at least with consoles. Like an evolution of this graphics chip is what they used in the Sega Master System and then on the Genesis. This game is not fun to play. Alligator mix? Sounds like some Creole Tony Cashery's kind of thing. Oh no, it's Academia. What? 
The alligator is eating math. Oh, I see. That was an example. Well, how do I change what the alligator's... How do I play this stupid game? 17... Oh, I only eat the correct answers. That's incorrect. That's correct. That's correct. You know, this reminds me of the classic game Fraction Muncher <laughs> on the Apple II. Uh... Now I'm not just paying attention. Come on, give me those alley. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, that's not the worst game, but it's... Oh yeah, because as the alligators go higher, they go further to the left. Meaning there's less time to figure out the answers. Oh. Why didn't they call that game Math Gator? Matherator, crocodile, number number dial. Oh, what is this? Yeah, quick quiz. I don't have. I give you problems. You huh? Yeah, let's start the quiz. Oh, that's it. Oh no, I'm going. I'm going to have to repeat the first grade. Oh wow, it just terminates everything? Hmm. Number magic doesn't have crap on alligator mix. Early learning fun, oh boy. This game is so old, this would have been too old when I was alive back then. I would only have been like three, I couldn't even read. Um, oh, let's do shapes. Um, yeah, let's make a match. You will see some shapes. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I'm so fooled by the fact they're different colors. Now, what if the kid was colorblind? Hmm, Texas Instruments? Hmm? Oh, wow. Is this early learning or, like, still in the womb learning? Here we go. Music Maker. We are the makers of song. Data's father. Come on. That is way too many notes. Oh, what is it? What? I can't just like push the buttons and make music come out? Lame. Now try TI Extended Basic. Ooh. Wasn't the original built-in basic for this thing like super slow? Maybe that's what this does. It's like not super slow. Oh, that's right. I couldn't remember how to go back on this. Like control, control, oh my gosh. Well, how do I get that character? Function control? Oh my gosh. Function control, that, enter. Yeah, look, just look at the delay when it tokenizes that. It's kind of slow. How can there be a syntax error in that? What? I thought I erased that. Print function control. Hello world. Enter. Hmm, still not very fast. If I had to guess, 
the fact that it's extended basic, it probably has commands for graphics and things like that. All right, we got one more personal record keeping. <sighs> they, they used to call that a shoebox. Yes, give me my personal records. Maybe Trump's taxes are in here. I can sell this cartridge to MSNBC for a million dollars. Enter date. Day. Year. 19, 2021. This one's not 2K compliant. I do not have a printing device. Um, well, it's yet another game I cannot play because I do not have a disk drive or a tape. Can't say I was really impressed by any of these games. I mean, the Donkey Kong port was okay. Kind of bereft of sound though. I think I might have to give my, I think I'm gonna go with Alligator Mix. Cause it has two things everyone loves, alligators and math. Okay. I'm gonna go for a perfect score here. Alligator mix. <laughs> there needs to be an animation of the alligators eating the numbers, like nom nom nom. Oh yes, I got a fish. Maybe that was a problem the system had. Um, it didn't have very many licensed games like Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong was okay. But then you have stuff like Blasto. It's like, who cares about Blasto? What is Blasto? I don't care, but I know what Pac-Man is. Although I'm sure there's a Pac-Man port for this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with Alligator Mix as my favorite game. Well, once again, big thanks to Brock for sending me these cartridges. I would have done this video months ago, although I <laughs> couldn't find the power supply for the TI-99, but then I found it. The wall wart is so massive, it actually has a little tab, so you can attach it to the center screw of your wall outlet. <laughs> Look at that. All right, well, I guess we'll see you in a future video. <laughs>